In this tutorial, we're going to cover the MIDI nodes functionality within Superior Drummer 2.0. The MIDI node function basically allows you to layer various drums to trigger at the same time, while also giving you the ability to adjust the velocity curve within that group of layered drums, along with the ability to adjust the velocity curve independently of any drums you've layered together. Now to demonstrate this, I have loaded an X drum. So I currently have the Near Z Custom snare drum loaded from the core avatar library. And once again, the Ludwig Superphonic from the Allaire library. Now if I go into the mapping window and click on the MIDI nodes section, you'll notice the only thing that really changes is this upper portion of the right hand column here. We still have a velocity curve adjustment we saw the MIDI keyboard layout. Now we can create a MIDI node in a number of different ways. Within the MIDI node section here, I can click on this plus button to create a brand new MIDI node. And then of course I can rename the MIDI node so I can keep track of what MIDI node is associated with what articulations as I add more and more MIDI nodes. Now currently, although I have a MIDI node created, it has no articulations associated with it. I can see this because in the members section, there is nothing listed. So even though I have a MIDI node created, it's not gonna make any difference and it's not gonna change any bit of functionality within Superior Drummer until I add members to it. Now I can add members to this MIDI node within this screen by simply right clicking on any drum whose articulation I want to bring into the MIDI node. So let's go into our main snare drum. I will right click on it. Of course, I have all of these different articulations and I can audition them by left clicking. I wanna grab the center articulation from this near Z snare. So I left click and drag into the members area of the currently selected MIDI node. Now since the point within a MIDI node is to layer various articulations, I'm going to grab a second articulation from the Ludwig snare within the Allaire library. Now my snare node has two different snares associated with it. It has two members. Now remember, MIDI nodes work on an articulation basis, not an instrument basis. And what that means is you're bringing in specific articulations of a specific instrument not just the instrument itself. So although I've layered two different center snare articulations together, I could layer any articulation from any instrument together. For example, if I load another X drum, we'll grab another snare from the Allaire library, grab this Black Beauty, With the MIDI nodes tab enabled, I can go to this new snare that I've just added and I can grab any articulation. In this case, I'm going to grab the edge articulation. And now I have three different snare drums layered together from two different libraries, utilizing multiple articulations. Now currently, although I have this MIDI node created, it is not mapped anywhere. I have to map this MIDI node so that incoming MIDI actually triggers this MIDI node with these layered articulations. Once again, if I look at the note mapping field, there's no value there. So I can type in a value specifically, or I can use the learn function. Now I'll use the learn function in this case. I'm gonna click on D2, because I know the MIDI I have loaded currently in my DAW utilizes a snare drum hit with the D2 key. Now, if I play groove, or if I play the D1 key, I'm hearing all three snares at the same time. Now, if you're unsure that your MIDI node is working, what you can do is go into your construct screen and mute any number of drums to see if you hear an audible difference. 
and I'm going to mute it from the instrument panel. So now we're hearing just the Ludwig Black Beauty from the Allaire Library, which is this one. All three are muted right now. I'm going to go to my Superphonic from the Allaire Library and unmute that. We're just hearing the Superphonic now. You can hear that difference. Now we're hearing both snares from the Allaire Library. And now we're hearing the Near Z in there as well. And what's great about this is I can mix the relative volumes of all three of those snare layers so that I get the exact sound I'm looking for. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.